up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Professor Layton and the Last Spectre. Last time, we've been wandering around the market trying to find where the black market is. And everyone's like, ooh, Aunt Taffy, the candy lady who only sells to children, knows. So we did a little puzzle for her. So she should tell us the deets, the juicy deets on the black market. One of the boys who buys candy from me was talking about it. He said that a dark bird runs it. Does this boy buy candy from you often? Oh sure, Tweeds is always around the marketplace. Sweet boy, he always wears a red shirt. You might want to talk to him. Thank you very much. Ah, you're talking about Augustus Luke. August, Augustus Gloop? Ah, uh, oh, what was his name? In, um, Willy Wonka, the kid who should have saved some room for later, but instead gets, oh. <laughs> Look out! Hey! Who's that? <laughs> Stop there! Oh no, you don't! I mean, no! Luke, wait! Huh? There! That way! What is this madness? <sighs> oh, she's so nimble! This is ridiculous. Wait, over there! No, there! What's going on? I am the Black Raven. Welcome to my market. You come here asking all sorts of questions. Now, why is that? We are interested in a particular item. Really? You? <laughs> yes, everyone is searching for something. Very well, then. But first, you must prove that you have what it takes to barter. I'll give you one hint. You'll have to figure out the rest on your own. <laughs> oh, keep throwing some music at me. Keep it coming. Who on earth was that? I've heard rumors that the Black Raven is the head of a group that runs the Black Market. Black Raven, Black Market. I can see that. So he's in charge. It looks that way. And what is this piece of paper he left us? Put my body together. Mr. Layton? What is that supposed to mean? His garb was rather ratty. Maybe he needs a new outfit. I do believe this is some sort of hint he's given us. But what could it possibly mean? That is what we will investigate. Let's ask around a bit more. Yeah, there's definitely- it seems like there's a lot more. Uh, an, an enigmatic man calling himself the Black Raven rules the black market from the shadows. What could his true- uh, what could be his true identity? Oh, there's a multiple things. He appears to be faster than humanly possible. That's because there's more than one person. The marketplace is filled with boys and girls, but not one adult in sight. Ooh, it's like an Oliver type of thing. It's a bunch of... Wait, how is it like Oliver? No, that doesn't make sense. Well, I guess if it's like, uh, like a huge group of kids stealing stuff, but... What am I talking about? Shut up! Taffy said that one of these children may know the exact whereabouts of the black market. Ah, yes, the kid! A Augustus! Hello, Augustus! You are Tweeds, correct? Oh, that's so funny because I called him Tweedledum before and it's, yeah. It's not that funny, but it's coincidental. But if you want to leave a message, I can give it to him. To him, ah, uh, me, him, I mean, dear Lord. It's all right, Tweeds. Aunt Taffy told us about you. Can we talk? Only if you don't try to trick me. I've been tricked too many times. Sorry, I can't help out until you've solved at least 25 puzzles. It's a riddle twiddle for fiddle, pal. 
Right, of course it is. I guess we will solve a few more puzzles and get back to you. I'm so close! But three's a lot of puzzles! Um... What should... Oh! Oh! Professor, the apples over there look delicious! They all appear very fresh, but they seem as if they are about to fall out of their cart. Professor, would you like to try a puzzle that I made up, just now, in this second, that involves shapes? It's probably shapes. Like more Tetris. Oh, no, it's not. Time to pick some apples. You have three baskets of varying sizes, and there are five apples on the tree. Okay, I can see that. Pick all the apples, making sure that the large basket contains more apples than the medium basket, which in turn must contain more apples than the small basket. Each basket must contain at least one apple. Interesting. And I can just drag them wherever I want, huh? That is interesting. How is that possible? Hmm... What is the seek? Oh! Wait a minute! Wait a minute. If I can move these around, this is gonna be some sort of sneaky trick. Isn't there? Isn't there? Is there? Why can I- why can I slide the baskets around? <gasps> oh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, what does this mean for me? Alright. Three baskets, varying sizes, five apples in a tree. Pick all the apples, making sure that the large basket contains more apples than the medium, which in turn must contain more apples than the small. Um... Uh, well, actually, I don't really understand how this helps me, because doesn't it still- does it- Oh! Technically, three apples are in the big basket, and one is in the small basket. This works! Right? I know I'm getting excited again, and every time I do that, I jump to the conclusion, I push some it, and I get it wrong, but I'm pretty excited about this, I'm gonna do it! A challenging puzzle, to be sure. <laughs> I so rarely get no them on the first try. An answer. Correct! Put two apples each in the large and medium baskets, then put one apple in the small basket, and move it into the large basket, that does it. <laughs> that is... Uh, my brilliance! Was that puzzle too easy? Not at all. In fact, had it been any more difficult, I may have turned aplactic. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Uh... Yeah, don't do that again. Are we gonna find some more? Hmm. Maybe we should get moving. Let's go. Where should I go? Need to do two more puzzles. Looking for something? Oh, nope, we, this is the exact same thing he said before, okay. So we need to find more puzzles. What if I go to the cat? Do, do that, does that count? Ooh, hello. Oh, wait, what did I find? Oh, I lost it. Any luck finding tweeds? If so, why are you here blocking my cart? Honestly, don't you have anything better to do than beg for candy? Ah, uh, well, I gotta find puzzles. Which I'm not finding anywhere! What if I go to the other children? Maybe they have puzzles. So that would be over... Oh, what's over here? Oh, this person. Wait, have, you, have I read this before? Oh, these people, this work, this life, what a pain, what a pain. Nope. Uh, there's gotta be some sort of other puzzles around somewhere. No, I don't care about you! Right or left? Right? Ah! Uh -huh. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, 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 gotcha! Hello, children! Socket! You ate all that candy? Mama's gonna be mad at you! I only took one little bite several times. Here, I'll give you the last piece if you promise not to tell on me. You can't buy my silence with something so. Um, wow, that candy's really good. Excuse me! Socket made me eat it! 
Oh, whew, I thought you were our mom. Do me a favor, don't tell anyone you saw us eating any candy, okay? Our mom can be pretty scary. She shouts and shakes her hands and makes her forehead all wrinkly. Our mom has super keen eyesight. She can spy on us from miles away. Yeah, and when she gets mad, Steve shoots out of her ears. It's not a pretty sight. What are you doing here? Meow? Meow? If I do them, will it count towards my total? I don't know. I can, I can see. I can try. I mean, we can try it. I mean, we can certainly try it. The butler left a note with instructions, but it's hard to read because he seems to have written it in a hurry. Don't forget curtain 13. Yet there are only four curtains labeled A, B, C, and D. Well, it looks like a B. It's a B. A one and a three with a space. Which of these was he referring to? B. <laughs> Some puzzles must be met directly. What do you take me for? I love the thrill of a good solution. The butler meant the B curtains. It's easy to mistake hastily written B for the number 13. A gentleman always has good penmanship. I concur. Captain's call. Oh, did it count towards the total? I don't know, I missed it. I. Two luxury cruise ships pass each other in the middle of the very calm sea. The two ships are completely identical, and the two ship's captains have been happen to be good friends. Ahoy oh, there, Captain Brown! I didn't think I'd see you here! I didn't expect to see you either, but it looks like you've been steaming along at a fair rate of knots, Captain White! Which ship is Captain Brown's? Captain Brown's and Captain's White? Hmm... Good friends, they're identical. Calm sea... I didn't think I'd see you here... I didn't expect to see you either, but it looks like you've been steaming along at a fair rate of knots, Captain White. Well, B is clearly going a lot faster based on the waves, so... Which one's going faster again? Captain Brown thinks of you here. Captain Brown is the faster one, so Captain Brown is B. B. This took some creative thinking. Okay. He's A. A little more thought is in order. Was my logic right and I chose the wrong one, or was I just completely wrong? A challenging puzzle, to be sure. Guess we'll see here in no a second. puzzle is without an answer. Captain Brown ship is ship A. You can tell this at a glance just by looking at the washer waves. That's what I did around the front of each ship. I did that. Okay, so I just got, got it mixed up. But I, I, I had the... Th my thinking was right. But I came to the wrong conclusion. Oh, that counts as 25! We've got 25 puzzles! Let's see what else we can find. Anything around here. Uh, oh, wait, what was that? A puzzle! There seems to be a hidden puzzle here! Well, well, well. 149! What? Marble thirds. The diameter of the circle below is divided into three equal lengths, and those lengths are used to make the marble-like design that splits the circle into three different colored sections. There is the sections one and three are equal, but what about the area of section two? Is it less than, greater than, or equal to the area of one? Oh, I'm not so good with geometry anymore. Um, um what am I... What's the best way to... I imagine they're all equal, but I have no basis for that. Uh, what is there one? Oh, I see what the line means. So it's like... The, the line means they're equal distant. Oh, oh, I remember solving something like this once before. Um... I'm assuming they're all equal. Like, I'm 90% sure they're all equal. It involves, like, the length, the distance between, you know, like, the the, the width of each. But, ah, uh, I know what, I, I'm not even gonna pretend. I'm just gonna go with the equal, that all three are equal. This took some creative thinking. Yep, they're all equal. Let's A see their explanation. Leaves no puzzle undone. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> a 
look at that! That's not what I was doing in my head. Hmm, 941414194166. Precisely, the areas of 1 and 2 are the same. The best way to think about it is to use the three sizes of semicircles as shown above. If the ratio of the diameters is 3 to 1, then the ratio of the areas is 941. Using the ratios as a guide, we can compare the areas of 1 and 2 and 3 and conclude that they are, in fact, equal. Yes. That! You heard it. You heard it from him. I... Uh, yep. Uh-huh. That takes care of that. Well, now we have definitely enough puzzles. How do we get back? This way? All right, kid. Looks like you've answered 25 puzzles correctly. Will you talk with us now? Oh, I suppose. But maybe you could do one more puzzle. You greedy little... Hmm. How many ones? 40... One day, a little boy who was very curious about numbers thought to himself, If I were to write out all the numbers from 1 to 120, how many times would I write the num uh, numeral 1? Can you work out the answer? I wonder if I could do this in my head. So, obviously there's, uh, for every 10... Wait, hold on, so... There's 1 for 1 through 9, 2 for 10, um, and then 3 for 11, 21... 31, 41, 51, 61, 71, 81. Maybe I should be, well, that's 10. Let me, let me do it again just in case. So we have one, then we have, why am I using red in a thick pencil? Ah, uh, whatever. One, 10, 11, uh, then yeah, then it jumps to 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, 71, 81, 91, and then it goes to 100, all, all of them, so, wait, okay, hold on, so I guess even if it was like 111, it would still just be 1, right? Is that, let me see, about the number of times, how, all uh, the numbers, how many times would I write the numeral 1? No, 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 maybe it's how many times, oh, oh, you know what then? So, does, it, does this count as two? I'm gonna have to submit... Okay, it's gonna be a guess. So, if that's the case... So then this is one. Then there's 101. 102. But this is two. 103. 104. I, I can't really write out all these up to 120. Let's just write down what from here is, um... So... <laughs> I'm sorry, I get, my, I, I get very scatterbrained when I'm really thinking deep in thought. So, there's 20. Except not exactly 20, because how many of these are multiple? So 101 is a multiple. Uh, there's 111, which is 3. And then, oh, for, oh wait, 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 what am I doing? Because from one, from this point on, it's double. Oh my god, this is getting really intense. Let's do a fast forward and I can, cause now I'm, I'm starting to do so much uh, one addition in my head right here. Hold on a minute. So, if I take up the sum of all of these numbers, yeah, as you can see from the first black line, I totally forgot that 12 through 19 have, um, ones in all of them. So, the, the sum of all of them up to the ones, the 109s, I think, was, was 31, and then the last batch that has the, all the ones, like 110 to 119, and then 120 is only 11 because it's 120 and not 121, so... That'd be 31 plus 22, which is 53. Okay, if I get this wrong, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed because I don't wanna do all that math again. Some puzzles must be met directly. That was a lot of groundwork. Like it wasn't- I love the thrill of it's a good not solution. Difficult, but tedious, but fun. 
Yeah, there we go. Precisely, the numeral one comes up 53 times. You have to remember to count it twice in 11 and three times in 111. If you keep this in mind, the problem is simple. Simple but long-winded. You got a new course for the Toy Train Tweed Strip? That was great! Thanks! How can I help ya? Can you tell us where the black market is located? Well... If you put the Raven's body together, he can show you the way to the black market. Oh, and by Raven's body you mean the children's bodies? Because a raven is probably multiple children. I think. But then again, those two kids were named... What was it, like, Rent, Wrench, and... Something else, like... Re related, like, uh... Oh, dear. But the Raven's body... Yeah, okay, let's just move on. I can't tell you anymore, but this metal will help you. Metal? Good luck! Let's see... This design looks like the wing of a bird. I see. So perhaps there are other metals also with parts of a raven on them. Yes, that must be it. Put my body together, that note said. Well, let's see if we can find any other metals. Metal fu- Do we talk- Metals- Three metals left? I guess we'll go talk to the kids. You have one? A man in black told me to stay here. I have to give a message to the one with four special medals. Whatever that means. Four? Well, okay. That's all of them. Let's... I'm assuming the children have them, right? If you find what you're looking for, be sure to bring lots of cash. Maybe the children don't give it to me. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do? Oh, hello. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. You want something? Could you tell us anything about the black market? Maybe. But if you can't solve this puzzle, maybe not. Oh, you're just a kid. What do you know? Seven coins. Seven gold coins make up a circle. Moving only one coin, arrange them so there are an equal number of heads up coins as there are tail up, tails up coins. Moving only one coin, arrange them so there are an equal number of heads up, so there are ta as there are tails up. One, two, three, four, five, versus two. Okay, um, use the stylus to move just one coin. Tap a coin to flip it over. What? Okay. Well, one, two, I can only move one? Hold on. But I can flip it. Well, what if I cover one, like that? But I can also f Oh, I can move and flip it! Oh, okay! So I can move a heads on top of a heads and then flip it. Which makes three heads, three tails. Three heads, three tails. Submit. Right? This took some creative thinking. <laughs> Easy! No I remember, I, remember I, I did a puzzle a long time ago involving... Something similar, not coins, but it involved like overlapping stuff. And no, I was, when it got me first, I was like, "Oh, that's sneaky!" Kaching! If you flip a if you flip a coin over to show its tail side and place it over a coin showing a head, the number of heads and tails visible will be equal. Give me, give me that medal, yo! Give me that medal! I don't care about that stuff. Respect points to you. So here's what I know: the door will open when you put the pieces together. That does not do anything for me. What do you mean by that? I can't do everything for you, pal. Then I will consider your words to be a clue and keep looking. Also, there might be a raven metal where ravens hang out. Maybe. Look for the chimney quartet. Thank you, we'll do that. Chimney quartet. Where ravens hang out. Where is that? Ch chimney quartet. I get it, I get it, I get it. Should I be writing this stuff down? Um. Metal, where are these?
these metals? Might I ask the two of you a couple of questions? With that hat, you can ask me a dozen, mister. You need a guy through the market or something? Aren't you friendly? We are looking for a medal with a raven on it. Have you seen anything like it? A raven medal? Nah, we don't know nothing about that. That's right, we don't know nothing about that. Wait a sec, that's a double negative, Ren. Hey, let me have my fun with the outsiders. You shut your trap. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, I don't know nothing. Double negative, single positive. It is very important that we locate this medal. If you know something, it could help us immensely. Uh, Sits? Let's just tell him. Tell him what? That we don't know nothing about a medal with a raven's tail on it? <gasps> Actually, I never mentioned that the medal had a specific part of a raven on it. The oldest trick in the book. Let me talk till I spill the beans. Oh, all right, I'll talk. You gonna tell him about that umbrella, Ren? I don't remember nothing about any sweet umbrella. I understand. Thank you. Oh, by the candy lady, is that it? Okay. Let's get out. And chimneys? Okay, that's fine. Oh, let's see. Let's start looking. Let's, let's go off. Uh, umbrella, umbrella, umbrella! I believe we found the sweet umbrella we were looking for. This medal has a raven's tail on it. Now we have two medals. We must find two more. Gotta find the chimney something, he said. Where are we gonna find that? I'm not sure we're done here. Oh, well that's good. That means it's gonna be in this area, okay. Oh, here are the chimney. This must be the chimney quartet we were seeking. Four chimneys, of course, and this medal has a raven's wing on it. That's three medals, one to go. That other guy did say something about cash. I would use cash in a market. Would it be somewhere here? No, not here. I should still talk to them, though. Whoa! Perhaps you could help us. You searching for something, eh? We're looking for raven medals. Have you seen any? Oh, sure, but ain't nothing for free in the market. Hmm. Why don't we leave this for next time? I feel like we've done quite a few puzzles in this episode. So stay tuned for the next one. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.